Welcome to North of the Broad. I'm your host, Karen Wyman, coming to you from Higher Ground on Ladies Island. And I'm joined, of course, by Tim Levitt, owner of Higher Ground. Hey, Tim. Hey, Karen. This is our first time interviewing in our new space together. Uh, I know. You almost said the other location. Right? I know. I almost <laughs> said the other location. But we're here on Ladies Island, and we're all happy to be here yes. um, getting settled into your new location. How have things been? We love the new location. It's so nice to come out and look out over the Factory Creek over the water and coming over the bridge to work and it's just great all the way around. Everything fits and the vibe is good. All right, I know. And um, we were talking um, that all of your signage has recently been put up. So um, obviously, um, not can't miss you anymore. No, no there's no it. excuse, right? You can't <laughs> no miss excuse us. for driving uh, by. Everyone's got to know where we are by now, hopefully. Right. So, so um, you know, this obviously was a big undertaking to move from a, a place that you had been at for a long time. Um, here to Ladies Island, ten and years, yeah. ten years downtown, um, um, right off of Boundary Street. So we just want everyone to know where you are to come here to this location on Ladies Island, right across the street from Butler Marine. Yep, um, right in front of the Ladies Island Marina. Ladies Island Marina, can't yeah. miss it. Yeah. So, so you know, obviously now we're in the beginning of the year, um, looking at some holidays or post-holiday sales that you've got going on. Yes, post-holiday sales are definitely rolling. Whatever we've got left over, you know, we're headed towards spring. We're looking forward to warm weather already, you know, right, right as soon as Christmas passes. And says, you're already thinking, yeah, it's, like, it's, I need to move some, I need to, you know, restock inventory. Uh -huh. So, um, so want people to come and check out what's going on as far as after Christmas sales as we get to the first of the year. Maybe someone didn't get that kayak or stand-up paddleboard that they wanted. Yes. Um, it'd be a great time for people to come in and see what's available. Available, um, on the floor for inventory. Absolutely, we'll have some great deals. All right, I need people to be able to know that. So, you've got some obviously some big things coming up as you get ready for spring. Um, you know, you know, you got some shows. You've got Surf Expo, and you've got some other show you're going to. And I think it's the the E O R A. Yes, and Eastern we, Outdoor Retailers Association. Thank you so yes, much for filling me in. For. Yeah. So, um, yeah. so tell us about those um, buying opportunities and and those shows and what you find out when you when you go to those. Well, so now that we've gone through fall and winter and the well, we're still winter time, uh -huh. but um, we're now looking at product for next fall and winter. So it's uh, we go in and they show us. Uh, what they've got planned for next season and ask us how much of what we want so <laughs> then they can produce based on that. Got so it. It's, uh, you get off the crystal ball and you go in there and, and place orders. So obviously a learning opportunity for you and your staff too to see what some of the, the new ideas that are coming out as far as um, you know equipment for the water. Yes, new equipment, new clothing, a little bit of everything. A little bit of so everything, it's, it's right, because you can get everything in this store I found out. Yes. Um, so you know, one of the things that always goes on, and we want people in the community to know that it's basically never too cold to like get out on the water here in Buford. No, we have our cold days, but then the beautiful 75 and sunny days pop up, which is the perfect time to get out right. on the water. Yeah. So, you know, call the store if you're interested in, in participating in a, in a group paddle or yes. kayaking. The, those tours are always available, mm -hmm. to, obviously weather dependent. Um, and one of the other things that, um, is, you know, a lot of people are now into um, full moon paddles. So we know that at the end of January, there will be another beautiful full moon. And so that could be an opportunity if the weather's right to participate in a full moon paddle. Yes, weather permitting, it's a beautiful thing. It's fun to get out there and uh, on the water and watch the, mm -hmm. uh, about said sunrise, watch the moon rise over the, the trees. Rise, yeah. it's, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's a mm -hmm. pretty cool um, vibe, without a doubt. Yeah. Yep. And just make sure that you dress accordingly. Yes. yes. If you fall in the water, don't it's fall cold. In, don't fall in. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold. You can jump in, but it's cold. Yeah. So obviously you get all this new merchandise in and you're looking for the weather to warm up. And we know there's a big event coming up in March. It's the Adventure Biathlon. Yes. Don't have a date quite yet? We don't have the date yet, but uh, keep, uh, keep checking in with us. Website, uh, Facebook page, as soon as we have it, we'll get it posted and uh, give people time to start getting ready. You know, it, yeah. it's January, March is right around the corner. And, and it's a competition. It's, yeah, you want to be in shape and, uh, and ready for your paddle or your run. Have you decided yeah. which you're going to do yet? You neither. Gonna, neither. I'm just going to watch. What? You know, it's always good. You know, I'll just stick to my yoga. We're going to get you out. <laughs> but right, it's something that we want people to know about the date so that they can prepare themselves if there's opportunity for them to purchase new equipment um, before the event. You know, they know to come here to higher ground. Um, so, but we, we're so happy that you're in this wonderful new space and that you continue to be the host for, for North of the Broad. Well, thank you. Thank you for being here. Yeah, we're happy to be here. So anything else you want to share with the viewers? I don't think I got anything else right. this time. Yeah. This time, all right. Well, that wraps up this edition of North of the Broad. Thanks for watching.